Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to RTC TV4. My name is Dakota Hayden, alongside with Blair Zimmerman. <laughs> we'll be your co hosts for tonight's varsity matchup between the Casting Comets and the West Central Trojans. Now, if you're just joining us, you missed the uh, a very exciting matchup between the Lady Comets and the Lady Trojans. It did sadly end in heartbreak for the Lady Comets, uh, who were able to hold the lead almost the entire game until the fourth quarter, uh, where the Lady Trojans were able to tie it up twice and then sink a three-pointer right at the end. I do believe the final score was 39 to 42 for that one. That is correct. Now we got boys varsity. See what uh, comments can get going here in boys varsity here tonight. Hopefully. Absolutely. And if you are just joining us, you'll notice that your comments are in white and camo. Uh, that is in honor of the armed services. As tonight is armed services night. Well, we have a minute 45 until the action starts tonight. So we are going to have a quick word from our sponsors. And then Dakota and I will be right back to comment on the action as it happens. And we may be joined in the booth by a guest commentator in the uh, in one Don Helmick, uh, coach of the Varsity Lady Comets. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll find out in a moment. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just 10 seconds until the action starts. Did not realize that the uh, the Comet and Lady Comet's uniform were provided by the National Guard for service night tonight. Hmm. Awesome. The visitors on the scoreboard, the Trojans from West Central High School, and the Hollywood Comets from Catholic High School. Let's get these starting lineups. First for West Central, and a guard number 12. All right, West Central starting lineup. Number 12, Bryant, Bryant Kakos. Number 14, Cameron Pratt. Number 30, Jansen Floto. Number 20, Jared Glassford. Number 52, Rex Smith. And ladies and gentlemen, your cast and comments. Number 13, Hunter Shane Laub. Number 21, Brady Hartman. Number 23, Brandon Kinzer. Number 3, Wyatt Brummett. Number 33, Mike Rands. The comments are coached by Carl Davis. And are chomping in the bit for a victory tonight, Dakota. I'm hoping so. I mean, my nerves are all worn out already from the varsity girls game, so I'm hoping it's not, it, well, I, I like a good ball game, but like I'm already all tensed up, you know, I, I don't want to like, Oh, absolutely, absolutely. My, my stomach still messed up from the fourth quarter of that game. Yeah. Let's see what the comments can pull out. Looks like Hunter Shane Lab's going to be just about matched in height with that number 52 from West Central. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, we don't have stats on the roster tonight. I'd be interested to see because it's... He's close. 
hair for hair there. West Central getting the tip. And we're underway. West Central playing quick ball. Unlike the Lady, Unlike the Lady Trojans. Yeah, yeah they're, they're quick from that three-point line. Brady Hartman with the rebound. Kinzer now crossover mid with it. See if the Comets can get anything moving. Quick start off to the game though. These Trojans though are just about as aggressive. Kinzer with a pop too, it's no good. That giant number 51 there, 52 excuse me with that rebound. A deep three by West Central. Off the mark. Closer than I would have thought he would make it with that right. one, that was. Kinzer oh. wrapping up that rebound. Kinzer getting into Shane Lobb. That's sent back to Kinzer. He's going to pop three of his own. Off the mark and out of bounds. All right, we're headed down to West Central's court. Trojans trying to get it in. Into the big man in the post, and he pops it up for two. Hunter Shane Love's going to have a run in his money there in the post. Absolutely. Kins are almost into double coverage there. He's going to get over to Rands. He's going to take the three just off the mark. Shane Love getting a hold of the rebound, giving it back out to Rands. Rands with that pump fake there. Kinzer, Kinzer getting it. Shane Lobb. Off the mark. He's Shane on his Lobb rebound. His own rebound. Out of bounds. Out of bounds there off of that number 52, Rex Smith. That guy, he's just big. Yeah. All right. Kinzer trying to see around his defender and get this inbounds. Right, gets it into Brummett. That was a close thing. Over to Rands. Rands getting it into Kinzer. Able to keep a hold of it. Can't get it in for the two. It was in and out there. It was in and out. Couldn't get a good fall on that one, I guess. Trojans. Able to get something running. And to drive to go, he goes up for two. It's no good, and Rands with that rebound. Good solid board there, two hands on it, brought it down to the hip. Shane Lobb over to Rands. Rands faking that three. They're leaving him open for it. Kinzer. Rands again, giving over to Brummett. Bring it back to Rands. Trying to figure out something to do with it, gets over to Hartman. Hartman putting up for two. Nice fake. And it's good. I think it hit almost every inch of the rim before it dropped, <laughs> but it did drop. Trojans now. Hopping a deep two. Off the mark and Shane Lobb with that rebound. Kinzer getting it over to Rands. And over to Shane Lobb getting around the big guy. I never thought I'd say this, but Shane Lobb was just stuffed. Oh. West Central popping up a three. Deep three. I'm not sure what it was, but I heard a smack somewhere out there. That might have been the crowd, though. The officials didn't see anything they thought was untowards. Kinzer sent it over to Rands. Rands, I think, trying to lob it over didn't defender's head work. to get to Shane Lob. And West Central with that easy layup there. Oh, and Rands messed up the inbound there. It's going to turn it back over right on the baseline. Oh, 
We got Luke Lau coming in for Mike Rands after that. And we've got number 40, Ryan Smith, come in on the off the West Central bench. Same Lau got the ball given over to Lau, over to Kinzer. To Lau. Trying to find something to work. Tried to lob it into Shane Lob. Bit out of reach. Trojans across the court. Lau just couldn't quite get a hold of that. Sending it back to the other side of the court. Almost got it out. And that's going to be a backcourt violation. Zane Scott now checking in for Wyatt Brummett. We got number 42 checking in for 14 for West Central. Caleb Evan. The officials trying to decide where the Comets are going to take possession of this. Lau. Trying to get it in. Gets it into Shane Laub. Hands it back. McKenzer. Three minutes left in this first period. He's giving it over to Scott. Aggressive defense by the Trojans. Kinzer popping a three. And it's nailing it. Good. Putting the Comets in the lead. And I missed that, ladies and gentlemen, but that was a turnover by the by uh, West Central. Huh. And the Comets will take position, possession again down under their basket. Wow, looking for someone. Zordi Kinzer. We've certainly had no lack of exciting basketball so far this evening, Dakota. No, I'm, I'm very happy, very entertaining. Oh, Lau in trouble. Gets her over Shane Laub early <laughs> at the big guy's knees. Kinzer getting over to Scott. Scott popping a three. Just off the mark. And West Central's number 12, Bryant Kakos with the rebound. Trojan's trying to get into the base. Nice. Wow, able Lau to get with on that it. steal. Needs help. It's over to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb going to drive in. Behind the backboard goes to put up a shot and draws the foul. He'll go to the line for two. We'll take that. We'll take that. And that foul was on number 40, Ryan Smith. It's his first. And again, he has the dubious honor of being the first foul of the ballgame tonight. Somebody's got to be. Shots up. And it's good. It. Added tension by the ball there. Uh, we like have it's slide numbers out. 14 and 10 subbing in from West Central side. Number three, Wyatt Brummett subbing in for Luke Lau. Second shot's up and off the mark. Hartman trying to get a hand in there. Can't quite do it. Got some forward for his efforts. Trojans, and on the outside, an opening to drive in. Hops for a long, long two. Long two, he draws the uh, foul. Oh no, illegal block on Black. Number 40, Ryan Smith, that's his second. And we have number 52, Rex Smith, coming back in for number 40 there. Trojans looking to put on the full court press. Oh. Inzer getting over to Brummett. Move back over to Shane Love. Shane Love popping a deep two. And it's good. Nice. 
<laughs> Once again, went around the world there. <laughs> Trojans now driving Long base. pass. Off the mark. Scott with the rebound. Trying to, trying to shoot over Shane Lobb there. I think you just as well walk up him because you're going to need a ladder. Shane Lobb <laughs> in, the back of the... Unless you're that Rex Smith there. He's like, yeah, I'm Paul too. Yeah. Oh. Would have been a nice pass by the Trojans had he got just a little bit sooner. Sending it out. Comets ball now. Genzer crossing over midcourt. Trying to find someone to get it to. Gets it over to Brummett, who's going to drive in. Get it up to Hartman. Hartman popping a deep two. Off the mark. And West Central's Cameron Pratt with that rebound. Some fancy footwork going in here. Get himself open to put it up. Off the mark. A central coach. Getting a bit too into it there over there off the side. Yeah, Dakota, his face is matching the out of bounds line. <laughs> Kinzer. He's gonna have an aneurysm out there. Kinzer hitting that. It's a solid deep two by Kinzer to bring the score up 10 to four here at the end of the first. Wow, exciting basketball tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we'll be back here for the second after a word from our sponsors on RTC. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining us, you missed a great first quarter of basketball. 10-4 uh, comments tonight, so far. I mean, not looking to jinx, but we were also in the lead for the majority of the part for the uh, girls' varsity game, so I'm hoping, you know, fingers crossed, we just... No, keep a level head, keep good ball game going here, and just keep the lead. <laughs> this is an aggressive West Central team, though. Absolutely. Um, the, the girls and the boys alike, honestly. But even more so for the boys team out here tonight. Kinzer. A bit cleaner in their aggressiveness, though. Kinzer, Kinzer getting that open, too. Get no it. good. And Shane Lobb manages to get that rebound over that over West Central's Rex Smith, who matches him inch for inch. Kenzer getting up for two, nice. And drawing the foul. He'll go to the line for one, waiting on the officials to say who that was on. Foul was on 52, Rex Smith. A lot of squeaking action down there on the floor. <laughs> Must have been a. Um, it's probably sweat where kins are pancaked. Put up a four shot huddle by the Comets down there. All right, kins are squaring up for this. Shots up and one. Nice three-point play by Kinzer. Got number 11, Mark Smith, coming in for Brady Hartman. And the refs will reset that out of bounds and restart that play. Mm -hmm. 
Trojans popping a three. Off the mark and into the waiting arms of Mike Rands. Kenzer lobbing all the way over to Rands. Trying to get something moving, gets it over to Smith. Smith back to Kenzer. Kenzer popping a three. He's on fire with those tonight, Dakota. That's the brand of Kenzer we've been looking for all season. And I hope he can stay on the mark like that tonight. Keep the heat 16 going. 16 4 Comets. Keep the heat going. Let's go. Trojans West travel. Central with a travel. Number 30, Jansen Floto subbing in for 42, Caleb Evan. On the West Central side of things. Luke Wow trying to get around this West Central full court press. Able to put down his defender, Rands. In order to Shane Lobb, he's got a tower to go past. Oh, and they're calling travel on that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, <laughs> it was pretty visible on there. But if he wouldn't have, he would have gotten around him, though. That would have been impressive. He's putting up a good fight, though, in the post, that's for sure. I, I don't think that, that uh, Hunter is, is used to having to deal with somebody his own size down in the post. I, I don't think so either, but... I mean, throw a challenge at him. I think he can take care of it. Oh, nice. Oh, Lau getting in with the steal, but it bounced back to Kinzer, so I guess it works. It works. Kinzer now getting over to Rands. Rands about trips on his own feet. Hands it off to Shane Lau. Kinzer with the three. Oh, just oh. off the mark. There's his heat check. A central aggressively bouncing it off of Shane Lobb. The ref, ref called it called it white ball, but he's giving it to Black. I don't. I want to check your glasses down there, ref. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think you made. You're, you're saying the right things, making the wrong calls. You're saying one thing, doing another. All right, anyway, West Central there with kind of a sloppy pass. Kinzer strips it there from Jansen Floto as he goes up for, I don't know if he's going to jump up and do a pass or if he's going to try to hit, I don't know. He, he had the ball down in his waist when he went up. Travel on Lau. A lot of traveling called so far at the beginning of this game. Uh, for both I, sides, honestly. I was in here for the the Comets girls bitty ball for the elementary girls earlier. It's a, a clinic that the that the varsity lady Comets are putting on. You want to talk about travel? <laughs> I've seen more dribbling in football. Oh my gosh! All right, West Central with the shots, no good. Kinzer with that rebound. Kinzer with some fancy ball work going, giving it to Shane Love to Papa two. I'm not sure it was off the mark regardless, Dakota. Uh, <coughs> All right. Back down into the West Central basket. Easy lay in there. It's a good play. It's a good play. I'll give him that. Rands now with the ball. Going to give it over to Smith. Over to Kinzer. Kinzer in double coverage. Rands trying to get it up. He'll draw the foul, though. Foul's going to be again on 52, Rex Smith. That's his second, team fourth. He owns half of the team's fouls for the half. He's a big guy. It's hard to get out of the way to draw those fouls. <laughs> right, Rand's first one up, and it's good. Some substitutions in here. We've got uh, 21, Brady Hartman going in for number 11, Mark Smith. Got Wyatt Brummett back in for Luke Lau. Rands lining up his next shot. Off the mark. He's trying to get in for his own rebound. And instead he fouled, fouled number 12 there. And I saw that Rands who's trying to make the ref think, no, nah, it was a travel. <laughs> <laughs> 
these are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> uh, all rights, respective copyright holders and all of that. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Trojans, we get inside, send it back out to go for a drive. Well, that was kind of wild. They're all over the place. Yeah, there was a, we had a foul there. 21, Brady Hartman. His first. And Zane Scott's going in for Mike Rands. Right. Central. Shane Lob. Hartman gets that and goes over to Shane Lob. Shane Lob going back over to Kinzer. I think that's a smart move. Kinzer to Brummett. As tall as Shane Lobb is, that's, that's a long way for that ball to have to travel as he dribbles. It's yeah. easier for somebody somebody built more like Brummett to get in under that. Definitely a good call, handing that off to Kinzer. All right. Uh, does Shane Lobb put up for two? A bit. It was a pass. It was a pass. <laughs> he wasn't putting it up. It was a pass to Hartman. Who puts it in? 19-6, <laughs> Comets. 324 left here in this first half, ladies and gents. Shane, Shane Lobb with the rebound. Coming over to Kinzer. Kinzer looking to drive base, put up for two. Joe. I feel like he got hacked there on that attempt, but oh well. Out of bounds there on number 10, Shane Renna. Yena, Renna, you know why are they right next to each other in the alphabet? Okay. 14, Pratt, 52, Smith, back in for the uh, Trojans. Kins are now. Fancy footwork in, crossing the mid. Double Has coverage. To, right into double coverage. Over to Brummett. Brummett looking for help. Down to Scott right on the baseline. Hartman, Hartman popping threes. Off the mark, big man Rex Smith gets that rebound. As soon as number 52 went up, Shane Love stayed down. Don't blame him. Kinzer got the ball. Looking to the sideline for some in-game coaching there from Coach Carl Davis. He's open, put up the layup. Ooh, number Off 52 the looking for the swat. And unfortunately, West Central down to the other end to show them how it's actually done. Whoa. West Central's <laughs> coach a little bit. I can't tell livid or excited. Regardless, he's called a timeout. So we'll be back in 30 seconds. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, we're back. Two minutes and 11 seconds, still halftime. Comets are leading by 11 points, 19 to eight. It's been a solid, pretty good ball game, honestly. We, however, what we do not need is we do not need the third period from last Friday. No, no, we do not. So. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's a that's, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, players back on the court. Ooh. I think that was initially meant for Brummett, and Kinzer saved that. Kinzer getting it over to Brummett. 
Brummett going to send it to Hartman. Going back to Brummett. I thought he was going to pop that three. Yeah, he was, he was looking for it. Kins are now popping a two on double coverage. And it's good. Up and over the defense. It's a way to do it. Well, Central now looking for an open lane. Throw it up two. Just off. And I think it's going to be a foul on Shane Lobb. Going. Yeah, I think just maybe. Yep. Okay, we have Rands and Lau coming back in for uh, Scott and Brummett, respectively. West Central looking to... Whoa! The kids are just going down. He's been flopping all over the place this game. Did he draw the charge? Nope. He did not. He wasn't able to plant. It's a shooting foul then there on Brandon Kinzer. So he's going to send Jansen Floto to the line for two. First shot's good. Swirled the drain. Had to just do a little bit of a round the world there just to ease, you know, keep the tension going. Second shot's up, and it's no drama whatsoever. The central hitting double digits now. Kinzer. Kinzer behind the back trying to get over that midcourt line. So to Shane Lobb. And over to Rands. So they can get moving. And it's to Kinzer. Kinzer getting over to Lau. Lau looking to drive in. There's a big guy in there, Lau. Be careful. <laughs> out to Kinzer. So back to Shane Lau. We're going to take a breather for a real second. Restart a little bit. Coach Davis saying hold on to it. Be a good point lead to take the second quarter, uh, the uh, second half for that's for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. The two big men on the court just standing, <laughs> staring each other down right there. <laughs> I'm sure Coach Davis is wanting them to try for one more play, but only enough time for one more play. Right. Don't give them any. Don't give the other side any time to make it. There any. we go. Play resuming. Kinzer. And then to get it Ooh. over to Lau. And it's out of bounds on West Central. West Central coach Jordan Stevens foaming in the mouth over that, <laughs> but it was it was obvious. Rands. Looking for someone to check the ball back and play. Gets it to Lau. Lau, double coverage, gets it over to Kinzer. Four seconds, popping it up. Off the mark and into the arms of West Central, who misses that buzzer beater. But ladies and gentlemen, there has been no want for action in this first half. So, I believe that we're gonna have a special presentation during the halftime. I think. Although, I cannot confirm that, though. I'm not 100% sure. We got the little kids out there to play ball for soda, so. So, well, tell you what, stay tuned. We're going to have uh, a couple messages from our sponsors. And if there's anything special, I assure you that we will cover that. Otherwise, we will be back in about 10 minutes for the second half of the cast of comments hosting the West Central Trojans here on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. 
trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Well, 30 seconds until we start the second half, ladies and gentlemen. Do apologize. We were mistaken. It happens. Usually it involves people's names, not the events going on at halftime, but, well, you yeah, know, whatever. Right, right. I always reserve the right to be wrong. And halftime clock winding down to a close. There it is. Teams, teams finishing up their strategy sessions and taking to the hardwood. Hoping the comments are still all there after the little break on halftime. It'd be a shame to, like, you get a fire going the first half, then during break it kind of, you know, dissolves. Fires don't dissolve. You mix your metaphors. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you know what? I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to stick to it. <laughs> oh right, West Central kicking off the half with the possession. Of course, if we're kicking off a basketball, that's a penalty. <laughs> Hartman getting in there. The comments look to be just right on the beat. Hartman drawing a foul down here. He didn't even. Who did that? That was uh, number 20, Jared Glassford. His first team first here in this half. Kenzer checking the ball in to Shane Lobb. And over to Brummett. Coming in back to Kinzer. They're getting over to Shane Lobb. Got the big Shane guy Lob to get over. The post fakes Ooh. him out. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You get the big guy to go up first, then you go. Well, get around him first. Don't go up while he's up, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to get <laughs> stuffed. All right, West Central way over. Foul down here again. It looks like it was in Glassford again. It was his second there. Collecting two fouls in 35 seconds. Kinzer. Into heavy Lobbing coverage. All the way over, trying to get the from it, sending it into like the fourth row of the crowd over there. <laughs> He didn't even autograph it first. <laughs> that, was, that was dirty. <laughs> what good is this souvenir? <laughs> <coughs> Trojans now. That looks like that was a foul called on Brady Hartman. I, I disagree with the ref's call, but... Unfortunately, we're here to talk and not to... You know, officiate. Confirm the officiates. Yeah. Trojans trying to get something going now. Hopping a deep three. In and out. Three of the comments going after that rebound. About had a collision. Kenzer sending it over to Rands. My question is if three comments come together in a collision, does it create a sonic boom? <laughs> That's an interesting theory. We should test it. Kinzer open for the three. Off the uh, mark. Come on, Shane with that rebound. If you can hit the threes under pressure, but you can't hit them wide, op you know, wide open, then uh, <laughs> you're kind of... You know, then we just need more pressure. Right. Send all your players after him. Maybe you'll hit him. I can't say anything. He's on fire so far tonight. Absolutely. Shane Lob needing help. Trying to lob it up for the two. Hartman <laughs> trying oh, to get in there. Rex Smith had a hand on that when Shane Love released it. <laughs> Foul just called on Brandon Kinzer. That was, that was questionable. His second, team second. Well, it did stop the play, so they didn't get the score, but still. Oh, and a holding just called on Hunter Shane Lab. Oh, no, I was thinking, you know, the Trojans are pretty quick to rack up those two fouls at the beginning of the third quarter, but now here we are racking up three. Trojans, he's open. Jumper for the quick two. jumper off the mark. Whoa. From it, taking down the Giant. I think he took out his legs. They both no, went down. I think, yeah, they called that on, on Rex Smith. He, uh... Came down on top of Brummett. Has anybody checked that all of Brummett's bones are intact? <laughs> <laughs> a 
couple of substitutions here on West Central side. It's like we've got number 20. No, Glassford was in. I know we've got number 10, Yenna, in fresh. Comet struggling to get it over the midcourt line. It's the full court press. And easy layout by the Trojans. Don't want to see that. Coming over to Shane Lob over to Kinzer. Kinzer with the double coverage, getting it out over to Shane Lob. Trying to get over the mid. Shane Lob lobbing over to Kinzer. Oh, West almost Central. out of bounds. And West Central with a quick four points there. Yikes. In response to that, Comet's timeout. But we'll let them talk strategy while we hear a word from our sponsors. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, and we are back as the teams take the court. Comet's getting put to work with a full court press. Hopefully we get something moving through it or else uh, we're gonna have some troubles here in the third. Kinzer with the ball. Trying to get open, he's gotten the double coverage. Trying to get over to Hartman, struggling with the ball. Shane Love saving it. And then back over to Rands. Okay, Comet's got it on their side of the court. He's up with it. Rands getting over to Brummett. Brummett looking for someone. Gets it over to Kinzer. Kinzer sending it out to Hartman. Hartman to Brummett. Brummett driving base. Getting over to Shane Lobb. Put up two. There and you it's go. good. There you go. That's what we need. Trojans. Popping threes. It's good. Not what we want to see here. Kinzer getting over Comet's the Comet's still trying to get yep. across the midcourt, and they've done so. Kinzer for two. Off the mark. Trojans with that rebound. Trojans now. Block and foul in the Comets. Brummett looking to take a charge. Couldn't quite get it. I think that was Brummett that went down. It was. And that's his first. It looks like we're going to send Luke Lau in for Mike Rands. That was unexpected. I figured it would be Brummett coming out. Trojans. Going to pop it up for two. It's Not good. Trojans have come out of the locker room on fire, Dakota. I'm scared. Not going to lie. Definitely it's not something that we need to see happening here. Lau. Lau gets it across the midcourt without drama this round. Hartman holding on to it. Someone needs to get open. Send it over to Kinzer. Kinzer on the drive up. Put up a two. Off the mark, can't quite get on his own rebound. Hopping a three. Off the mark. Kinzer with that rebound. You get a little one on one across the mid. It's over, Kinzer now. Looking for someone, gets it over to Shane Lob. Shane Lobb looking for somebody. Shane Lobb looking to drive, drive himself. In. Sends it out to Brummett, who he thought about. He's about to put it up. Brummett with the good. three. 
Grummet from downtown. Trojans trying to get something moving. Bounced off the bounced off the Trojan. I thought it bounced off Kinzer from what it looked like from there. I did too. <coughs> All right, we've got Rands in for Hartman. Uh, we've got big man Rex Smith back in for the Trojans. And we've got some comments who are trying to get back into Comets territory. Wow, making it across the midcourt there. Rand's getting over to Brummett. Trojans forcing it out of bounds. Going to retake possession. Trojans trying to find an opening. He's going to drive in, go up for two. And it's good. We get a heat check on number 10. Whoa. Yeah, somebody there. He it needs to let number 30 know that this is not football. <laughs> And I'll be checking in for the Comets. Get over to Lau, get the play going. Well, we'll get another shot at that. So Shane Lobb. Heavy defense down here on the Trojans end. Oh, gotta get over the mid. Trojans able to cause a 10 second violation for the Comets. They'll retake possession on their end of the court. Long three, off the mark. Shane Lobb with the rebound. All right, get over the midline, boys. Come on. Lau getting into Bromit. Bromit putting up three again. Off the mark. Trojans, number 30, going all the way. He drops it and draws the foul. Foul was on Luke Lau. The official said the foul happened before the shot was attempted. It's not gonna count. Wicked pass. All the way to the other side of the court. Gotta get over. Trojans. Send it into that big man, Rex Smith. He he wasn't looking for it. Jump ball, send it back Comets way. Zane Scott going in for Luke Lau. Rand's getting it into Brummett. Throw it back to Rands. Rands sent over to Kinzer. Kinzer lobbing it back over to Brummett to go up for the. <laughs> to draw the foul and go to the line for two. Brummett about got creamed. <laughs> Free throws, Brummett. Free throws. Classic stuff. Easy stuff. First one's up, uh, just off the mark. Brady Hartman going in for Hunter Shanlau. And we've got number 40, Ryan Smith, going in for Jansen Floto. Second shot's up, off the Good mark. Fight, hit it. West Central with that rebound. Foul on Rands. <laughs> Yenna trying to go around Rands there and trips over Rands' feet, and obviously that's a foul on Rands. Yeah. 
Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. So, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the lack of camera work there. That's actually on me right now. <laughs> Trojans. And get into the post. Puts it up and it's good. Trojans have trimmed this lead down to a mere five points here. Rands getting it over to Scott. Scott drawing the foul there off of number 40, Ryan Smith. It's his third, team sixth. Both teams now at six fouls. At 44, Andrew Kaskin in for number 40, Ryan Smith for the for the Trojans. Brovitt trying to get into Hartman. I think it bounced off defender. Still white ball. Good news, ladies and gentlemen. Cameraman's back. I'm <laughs> off the camera. <laughs> Rummett in at the Kinzer for a three. Off the mark. Oh. Trojans. Baseline. Throw it up. No Couldn't. good, but Trojans with the rebound there. Kicking it back out. Three. Off the mark. Kinzer with that rebound. 15 seconds left in the third. Kinzer going to try to get a couple more points on the board before... The period expires. Ends are two. Ah. Off the mark. Hartman with the tip in. Hartman with that tip in right at the buzzer. There you go. There you go. Wow. This third period has been nothing but exciting. Well, the teams are going to talk strategy for the fourth, and we're going to hear a word from our sponsors. We'll be right back here tonight on RTC TV4. Thanks for watching. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, we are back. That was something. That, that was. This, this whole game has been playing with my emotions. We, we got a solid seven-point lead, but it was at five at one point in time. That was, a, that was a nice tip in. Actually, the first tip in I think I've seen, like I said before, in a high school game by Brady Hartman. Just uh, yeah, definitely the first tip, and I've seen the comments pull off. Uh, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All night long, we'll sell you the whole seat, but you, you only, only need the edge. edge. Good ball game. Let's go. Fourth quarter. All right. Trojans possession, looking to get in. Popping up a two, and it's good. Kenzo Didn't the quite ball. get their press set up. They need to get it over that midcourt, though. Rands We've already had one 10-second violation. There we are. Rand's getting over to Shane Lob. And Shane Lob drawing that foul there off of number 52, Rex Smith. Uh, that? Man, That's he's his out fifth. Here. He is out of the ball game. Shane Lob, you will now have full control of the post. <laughs> So 40, Ryan Smith coming in. Shots up. Just off the mark. And West Central with that rebound. 
Three. Oh no. That 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 three was beautiful. That was. And, and it was. Now, but unfortunately, it has brought the score within two. Rand, Rand's oh. losing control of the ball for an easy layup that ties up the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! This this is looking too much like a repeat of the last ball game. We've had a timeout called. We're going to hear a word from one of our sponsors, and we'll be back in about 30 seconds here on RTC TV 4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Oh. All right, we are back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I can't. My emotions, they are being played with. Okay. Ball yeah. game tied up now, 30 all. Seven minutes left in the game. We do have a bonus. We can get that working for us, that'd be nice. On the other hand, I mean, both teams now, next foul sending people to the line. All Casting right. getting it over into midcourt. Rands over to Kinzer. Kinzer over to Rands again. Rands looking for someone. Oh, come on. And it's there good. Go. Thomas retake the lead by two. Oh. Comets, we can't leave somebody open like that. Bergen's able to come right back at him and tie it up again. Kinzer into Hartman. Into Hartman. Hartman getting it back to Kinzer. That was, that was travel, I imagine. Maybe not. Maybe not. Putting him uh -huh. on. Foul on number 40. Okay. Ryan okay. Smith. It's going to send Kinzer to the line. We've got Luke Law coming back in for Wyatt Brummett. And Mark Smith coming in for, for no, Mike Rands. Hartman was convinced he was going out. <laughs> and we have number 44, uh, Andrew Caston coming in for number 40, Ryan Smith on the Trojan side. Well, Shane Lobb's on the line. I thought Kinzer was going. Okay. So, so did I. Kinzer was on the line. Uh, Shane Lobb drains it. He'll get another one. Okay, okay. You know, <laughs> who cares if he's on the line as long as we're making the shots. I'm exactly. all right with that. Second shot's up. It's also good. There you go, Shane Lobb. Way to handle that pressure, man. Speaking of pressure, we need to put some on the Trojans here. Yeah, don't want them to come back and tie it up. If we can take a lead, we'll take a lead. Trojans. And then tied it back up. Double coverage Heavy on Lyle. coverage. Over the midcourt. Kinzer. And the Hartman, Hartman popping a three. Hartman over the... Way over. All right, Mike Rand's back in for Mark Smith. And number 14, Pratt back in on the Trojan side. Trojans. Trojans looking to take the lead here for the first time this game. Deep three. Off the mark. Out. Or excuse me, for the first time this half. They, I guess they led early in the game. Did they? 
Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Real early, real early on. All right. Lau looking to get it over midcourt. Same love to Hartman. Hartman. Hartman he's, can't he needs quite. help. Out of bounds there on number 14 from West Central. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Get it out on them. Restart. I'd be lying if I if I said that my stomach isn't boiling right now. <laughs> Same. Kinzer get over to Shane Lau. Lau. He's thinking about it. Don't take any unnecessary risks, Lau. Kinzer. Get over to Shane Lau. Go back to Kinzer. Trying to get something moving. Kinzer getting it to Shane Lau. Put up for two. Oh, oh in and out. Rob. West Central with that rebound. Georgian. Going in for the layup, it's no good. Over. Shane Lobb with that rebound. Lau going to try to get it over into Comet's territory. Heavy coverage. He gets, gets past over. him. Kickball on Trojans. I'd imagine. It wasn't the foot area. <laughs> He's not soccer, man. Rance, and over to Kinzer. Hartman. Hartman looking for someone. Tries to get over to Shane Lobb. <laughs> Out of Trojan. bounds off of number 44, Andrew Kaskin. Rands, it's over to Kinzer. Kinzer looking to go base. Lobs it over to Lau. I was under heavy coverage. We got a foul called on the play. Put him the line, put him the line. Foul was on number 30, Floto. We've got Wyatt Brummett coming back in for Mike Rands. And we've got Luke Lau on the line with an opportunity to take a lead for the Comets. Shots up, it's good. There you go. He'll get another one. Shots up, off the mark. And number 12, Kakos with that rebound. The 30 for the Trojans. Off the off. mark. Lau trying to save the ball for the Comets, ends up taking it out. Penguin slid a few feet out of, the, out of bounds. All right, balls in. Going for the layup. He gets two shots, though. I didn't see who fouled him. Hartman, maybe? No, number three, Wyatt Brummett. That's his second. <coughs> Trojans here with the opportunity to take the lead. First shot's up. And it's good. There's a tie game. Take a shot's up. It's off the Get mark. Um, the Hartman getting in there. Take the ball for the Comets. Kinzer now with it. Oh, gosh. I am losing my mind right now. Kinzer getting over to Lau. I'll give it back over to Kinzer. They're looking for something. Honestly, though, right now, Good strategy is travel on oh, Hartman. Tripped over his own foot, looked like, stumbled a bit. Good strategy would have been for them to hold on to it a little bit longer and put two on the board. <laughs> Trojan's timeout. So with that, we'll be back in 60 seconds after a word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. 
The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, we're back as the teams take the floor. Tied up ball game, 327 remaining. Both teams in, in bonus territory on fouls. Dakota, this is anybody's game. Yeah, it's all intense. Ah, the Trojans yeah. take the lead for the second time in this ballgame. Had a good lead early. Actually, no, they had a like a two-point lead early on, so here they are again. Shane Love, and over to Brummett. Brummett in trouble. Let's go over to Lau. Oh, he thought about putting up a three. He's going to get hit with the travel. I feel like it's time for the Commons to start playing full court press themselves. I, I could agree. They seem to be handling a full court press, like you know, averagely well when it's against them for once. But yeah, yeah, definitely not not as poorly as we've seen it in the past. West Central now looking to run the clock down. Very valid strategy at this point. Not very fun to watch, but you can't blame them. <laughs> really frustrating for a Comet fan at this point. Comet's coming out of the zone. And they know that's what they've got to do. They've got to get up and put pressure on these ball handlers. Uh, we're down to just over two minutes left in this ball game. All right, West Central in. into the post. Drawing the foul there. Nope. Could have sworn that it was a, a foul. 30 second timeout, so we're gonna pop off to a quick commercial break and we'll be back here on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes, 10 seconds remaining. West Central with this critical two-point lead here late in the game. Comets need to play some smart defense here. They've got to get this ball back, take it down and score. Wow, trying to apply pressure. <laughs> trying to get a foul called. Had his hands all over him. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lau's second foul here. Rands is coming in for Lau. Now it's always risky to take a foul to put um, the opposing team on the line, but it's the best bet if they're going to stall for the ball to get a hold of it. Yeah, but if this puts them 
four up with only a minute 48 remaining. First shot's good. A lot of excitement over here in the West Central fan section. Second shot's up, and it's Thanks, also uh, good. There's that four point lead I was afraid of. Comets have to play some fast, smart ball here. They're struggling again in. against this full court press. Rands over to Hartman. Hartman giving it back to Rands. Kinzer's over there saying, We're gonna go for two. And shoots Off it the over. Mark. Trojans back in their territory. Dakota, I feel like we're watching a heartbreak unfold. I am, my, my stomach, I'm like in knots right now. I, I can't. They got over to Brummett. Brummett on the drive, drawing the foul. That foul there is on uh, number 30, Floto. That's gonna send Brummett to the line. Ideal situation, make the first shot, get the rebound for a three and tie it up. Sounds like a plan. Let's see what comments can get going here. Shots up, it's Damn. on the mark. Brumman there, calm under pressure. We've got Luke Lau coming back in for Mike Rands. Forget the edge of the seat. Ladies and gentlemen, Dakota and I are on feet. This is intense. Second shot's up. Off the Just money. Out. And, and the Comets did not get the rebound, so no good on a four-point play there. Comets trying to play their own full-court press. Driving in. It's off the mark. They get on the rebound. And they drain it. Oh, and, and foul there on Hunter Shane Laub. Sending the shooter to the line for one. Gives him the opportunity to extend the lead. He does not. 50 seconds remaining to deal with a five point deficit. Kins are now. Kins are going two. in. He, he gets the, the two. two. Timeout called by Carl Davis. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how I can deal with this stress, but we're going to take a break and see if we can figure it out here on RTC TV 4. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with just less than 44 seconds remaining. West Central possession with a three-point lead. Comets setting up their full court press. Looking either for a steal or a 10-second violation here. Trojans trying to get it over the midcourt. Oh, oh, and Lau all over him. Sends him to the line to shoot. Oh. Better hope he misses the shots. Because he's got two of them now. Uh, no, no, no good can come from this. That was, that was the wrong play. That's the wrong pressure to apply. Nail in the coffin right there. Mm. Four, point, four point deficit now. 38.4 on the line. Shane Lobb coming in for Smith. Second shot off the mark. Casting with that rebound. Trying to get over the midcourt. Kinzer. I just, and 33 seconds left. Kinzer driving place. deep. Gets it over to Brummett. Brummett in heavy coverage. Comment Coach timeout. Carl Davis calling a timeout here. I just, I, I can't imagine, I can't imagine what he's calling down here. The official being very emphatic about where the ball will be taken out. Oh man. 
th this score is so very close to, to the heartbreaker we just saw with the lady comments. I just, 27 and a half seconds. I'm, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any, unless maybe drawing a foul on a good three. I, I don't know. I, I just, I mean, I don't even think in, the, in college ball that this would be a hard thing. Maybe in the NBA. Maybe. Let's see if our Comets can pull out an NBA caliber play here with 27 and a half seconds left. Ball's in. At the wow, over to Kinzer. Kinzer Kin popping a deep three. He gets yes! the three. He just uh, didn't draw the foul. Uh, <laughs> 22.9 seconds, Dakota. <laughs> One point, but the wrong team has possession. <clears throat> I mean, for anybody whose speakers have just damaged, I apologize. You can send the bills to Dakota Hayden. Hey. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I, I man. Just, my pulse is elevated. <laughs> I just, it's gonna take a miracle on a full court press. It is doable. If we can steal the ball back under the Comets ball, under the Comets goal, and there, there's a chance. There's a chance. Because a quick lay-in of a two could put us in a position to win by one. Right. Let's see what they got, I mean. Nothing else to do at this point except watch. Yeah, that's that's oh the anticipation. <laughs> almost like Christmas. <laughs> it's almost like Christmas. I mean, I can't sleep. Wait, not that I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> <coughs> Trojans. All right, Trojans looking to get the ball in. Oh, come oh. on, five seconds, but nope. All right, let's see if we. They're taking out it out. Bounds They're taking the it out. Oh my gosh. Kids are like, what's the play, coach? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> We've 20 seconds. Thomas possession. Kinzer Half two. It's the Balls under Shane Lob. Now we're giving it to Kinzer. 15 seconds. That clock is winding down. Oh my gosh. Kinzer getting over to Hartman. Got to get something, got to get something. We got 10 seconds. Harmon giving it back to Kinzer. Kinzer for two. Oh. Shane Lob. No! Oh. oh. Couldn't get that tip in at the buzzer. This is possibly the most exciting game we've watched this season. Oh my. Unfortunately, goodness. ending in heartbreak for the Comets fans everywhere including myself, Blair Zimmerman, and my co-commentator, Dakota Hayden. Oh, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Please join us on Tuesday as we travel with the Comets to Rochester. Um, well, maybe not joining us, I'm not sure. Though the Rochester crew may well cover that. It's their home court. True. Nonetheless, tune in for some Comments Basketball on Tuesday. Thank you for joining us tonight here on RTC TV4. Have a great night. We're out.